Hey guys, it's Tammy. Um, I have a project to share with you that I have been working on. Um, I am part of a mini album swap with the Secret Squirrels um, on Facebook, so wanted to share with you the album that I have made. And this is a um, five by seven, I believe, is what it actually equals out to. But this is my project, and hopefully, you'll be able to see this okay. Um, I just used some chipboard that I had cut out, and this is a little wooden frame that I had gotten at Michael's. It was just the wooden front panel. It didn't have any back to it. And I colored that using um, the black Adirondack um, acrylic paint dauber. And then I went over it and dis um, distressed the edges of it using the gold paint dauber to kind of give it some aged look to it. And these are a couple of paper flowers that I made down in the corner and some Wild Orchid Craft roses mixed in there. These little leaves that are in the background are part of a spray that I bought at, actually at the Dollar Tree. Um, I took the leaves off of it, blended them with some um, varnished brass um, uh, moon shadow mist and put those behind there. This is a little black raven that I got in a sticker pack at the Dollar Tree. These little black spiders that you see on here, they're a Jolie sticker, and I don't know how well you can see those, but they are little glittery spiders. There are some more I Am Roses up in the, or sorry, uh, Wild Orchid Crafts up in the top corner. This is open at the top so that my partner can slip a picture in there and they can take this little word plaque off that's just there for a placeholder right now. The little skeleton came from the Dollar Tree. I got six of them or four of them, I think, for a buck. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And he's glued on there with just using hot glue. And then there's some of the scary, it's called scary cloth or spooky cloth behind there. And then that's about it on the front page. There's some black trim on the edges of both sides. And I used a lot of black curly ribbon and some fibers and to hide the binding. I just bound this using my um, cinch. So that's how I did the cover. And if you open it, the side, I made this little closure. I found these um, at Hobby Lobby on clearance, and this is what they were. They were the Zutter brand um, Hinge It All Brass, and they're in um, antique brass. They look like this, and I just put a little, or attached them to the ribbon to make this little closure on the edge of my album. So if you open that up, it's on the stretchy ribbon. And then the first page in my book, I was really stumped on this actually. I have never done a Halloween themed anything actually. I love Halloween. I have an obsession with buying the stuff because I love it, but I never actually tried to use it. So this was my very first page and I really don't like it, um, but this is what it is. Um, I just used my Martha Stewart um, all around the page punch is a spider web on a piece of black cardstock put a, mounted a piece of uh, royal purple cardstock distressed the edges of it with black soot this is a Inca Dinka Do stamp no actually that's a Martha Stewart stamp the bats are a Martha Stewart stamp this is a Sizzix die that I punched out these pumpkins use some distress inks to kind of give them some definition this is actually a dollar graphic or um Studio G stamp that I picked up at Walmart that I stamped on there. And then the back paper is part of this paper pack. Give me a second. I should have been a little more prepared here. But the paper pack that I used primarily is the 12 by 12 Haunted Collection by My Mind's Eye. And it's all just craft paper with various different designs on it. So you'll see this paper pack throughout the album. And that's the first page, nothing major. Like I said, I did have no idea what to do with a Halloween item I, or album, so it gradually gets a little better as we go. The next page is one of my favorites. Um, I put some black mesh in the back, made a pocket out of this little white picket fence, which I um, distressed up using my new um, seasonal Tim Holtz gathered twig ink. Sorry, I'm not sure if the camera is focusing or not. And then just um, to age it and make it look a little more spooky. This um, trim on the side is part of this trim that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's just some rosette trim. I cut the rosettes to make flowers and put some Studio G 
brads in the center of it. There's another one of those spooky, jollies, glittery spiders on there. And then there's various tags that in here that they can use as photo mats. These images, I printed them out off the internet and then just distressed the edges of them, put it on a piece of chipboard. And this one says, Sinful Satan's Treacherous Demonical Additives, Twisted Twigs, a divine treat for any hungry goblin collected from the deadest of dead oak trees, complete with tricks, ticks and bugs. So I really liked that. And I left the back plane, so that's a photo mat. These tags, I used all three of the Tim Holt Seasonal Distress inks in Seedless Preserve, um, Ripe Persimmon, and then the brown one, which I already showed you, in the gathered, or yeah, gathered twigs. So I just distressed the tags. This is a Martha Stewart stamp on the top. And on the back, that's a Martha Stewart stamp as well. An owl on the branch. And I just put some fibers on top of that. And the next tag has a transparency on there. I did the same thing with this one. And on the back, it's just got some glittery cobwebs, which actually, again, came from the Dollar Tree. And then there's some Martha Stewart paper in the background there from um, her paper pad this year. And the next page is... Um, really simple. This is some more of that spooky cloth, another one of the rosette flowers with a uh, little orange spider that was part of a children's ring. I just kept the back of it. This little cat also came out of that glitter sticker pack. This little bat was a ring as well. And then I used some stamps that I had picked up. This little spooky tree, the fence down at the bottom, the pumpkins I colored with my Copic markers. And this opens up to reveal more bats. So, and that's an open pocket, so she can stick extra pictures or any um, memorabilia, whatever she wants to, in that pocket. And then the paper in the background was just a random sheet of cardstock that I had from last year. So, this one is just a frame, more of the rosette flowers on the side, and the frame is open, so you can slide a picture behind there. This is actually a Tattered Angels. Um, glimmer chip piece that I inked up using the same distress stains and put on the corner and it's just mounted on some royal purple cardstock. And this is probably my favorite page thanks to Dawn Marie. Hi Dawn. She sent me um, these cutouts because I searched everywhere for the rickety old house and the spooky tree by Tim Holtz and could not find them so she had these along with a few others that she sent to me. The little picket fence was one of hers as well, and this little moon actually came out of the um, Immortal chip piece set, so I just grunged that up a little bit, made it darker, and it's the moon on there, and it says something wicked this way comes, and it opens up like this, and there's room for a picture here, and maybe a small picture or some journaling there, and I just mounted the house on a piece of yellow cardstock, which I grunged up a little bit, drew a ghost in the doorway using my white uh, zig pen and then these little plastic pumpkins are some jelly stickers as well and I did use some Lindy's um, centralizing silver on this page in order to give it some glimmer so this is probably my favorite page in the album I had a lot of fun with that one this one is more of that My Mind's Eye paper that I just distressed using those three seasonal Tim Holtz inks. I really like those, apparently. And then a glittery spider up here. And I used my glue gun to make some the little spider web stringy things that we all hate. They come in perfect for our Halloween album. If you can see that, they make like a web behind my spider. This is a Spellbinder's die down at the bottom it makes this graveyard scene I really liked that I got that off scrapbook.com for like seven dollars you guys and it came with several other dies in there as well another one of the plastic um, sticker pumpkins from Jolie's this is just a this was white flatback pearls from Carla S001 that I inked up and um, to tan to take down the white on them and some more roses from Wild Orchid Crafts and this boat this opens up so there's two photo mats just plain for her to put some pictures on. And then this is actually made out of a paper bag, by the way. This is not chipboard. No. And this one is not chipboard either. 
No, this is chipboard, sorry. The one with the house is, is a paper bag. And this is just a photo mat. This little transparency slides up. She can slide a picture behind there, and then the transparency slides back down beside, behind this spider web um, die cut that I had picked up last year when it was on clearance. This page is made from a paper bag, our paper bag that I stuck in there. The first page is just a large photo mat with a random piece of paper on it. Some of the, some more of the borders from that pack that I picked up last year on clearance. Another one of the Jolie's pumpkins. And it opens up this way. So there's a photo mat there. A large photo mat that I stickled over the spider web. It lifts up. You have a photo mat there and a photo mat there. So lots of room for pictures. And lastly, if we flip over the last two pages, <clears throat> the back is a pocket page that I used that same Martha Stewart um, spiderweb punch and I used some glossy accents to kind of accent the spiderweb, more spooky cloth, a little chipboard, happy hauntings that came from Studio G from Walmart as well, and then another little spooky spider. This page is a Halloween checklist. This was a um, Tattered Angels chip piece. <clears throat> it says trick-or-treating, boo the neighbors, carve pumpkins, costume parade, ghost to stories, bob for apples, roast pumpkin seeds, and scare somebody silly. So I really liked that. And then this one is another that I printed off of the um, internet and it says Mr. Bones Magical Ingredients, Salem, Massachusetts, Witch Creek Alley. It's called Vampire's Blood and it says use for use in only the most deadliest potions and spells. And that's just a mat that she can stick a picture on as well. And then the last page is just a photo mat. And I temporarily put a witch that um, Dawn Marie gave me on there to hold it. She can pop this off and put her own picture on. These are the um, filigree corners from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this is some rosette trim that, if you can see that, I know the lighting in here is bad after I moved my desk. Um, that came from Hobby Lobby. And then on the back, it's just black. Um, I will sign it and date it and send it off to my partner. But that is my mini album. I hope you ladies enjoyed it. Um, I'm at 12 minutes, so I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to come back. I have one more small haul video that I want to share with you. So thanks for watching. Bye.